My name is Caitlin O'Brien and I'm a medical physicist and I want to tell you a little bit about what I do and why it's important. It's all about measuring oxygen using magnets. Now you don't have to be a university professor to know that oxygen is really important for us to live. The oxygen that we breathe ends up in our blood and all of the arteries and blood vessels in our bodies act as a delivery highway for this oxygen to all of our different organs. It helps keep our health cells healthy and everything ticking along as it should. One of the hungriest organs in our bodies, using around 20% of all the oxygen, is our brain. The brain is also one of the most complex organs in our bodies and many parts of it are still a mystery. What we do know though is if just one part of the brain gets damaged, it means we can struggle to walk, talk, run, remember things, or even use our hands. That's why it's really important to try and keep the whole brain as healthy as possible. One thing that can affect the brain is something called a stroke. A stroke is when a blood vessel in the brain gets a clot and it gets blocked. And that means that the blood can't reach that area of the brain. Now, in the same way that if you or I were stuck in a room without any oxygen, this really doesn't end well for the brain. So what does this have to do with what I do? Well, when the blood enters the brain, it's carrying all of the oxygen that it can. So we say it's 100% oxygenated. When it leaves the brain, only 70% of the oxygen is left. So 30% has been used by the brain. This number is really important because if it changes, then it tells us that something is wrong. So we want to be able to measure this number. That's where my research comes in. I work in something called MRI. MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging, and it's basically a giant magnet. It allows us to create images of inside our bodies, and it can tell the difference between different types of tissue in our bodies, like bone and fat and muscle and blood. But what's really cool is it can tell the difference between blood which hasn't got very much oxygen in it and blood which has got lots of oxygen in it. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to look at the brain and measure how much oxygen there is in different parts of the brain. If this number is different from the 30%, if it's higher or lower, then we know that there is something wrong. This can help the doctors decide the best treatment and be able to predict any kind of disability or survival rates after someone has had a stroke. Hopefully, my technique will help people have healthier brains after stroke and then they can live longer, better lives.